So this is the list. And then, and then taking pictures with the zoom. And the In a very rare instance, sometimes you may be blessed by the gods. Be so lucky to get a thousand X, thousand X tier. This is rare. Our research team is looking at lots of products every single week, arranging anywhere from 30 to 50 projects a week. And then out of those, we take the top five most interesting ones that have the highest fundamental score. And then we create that, that as a list for hidden gems. Now, because these are early stage products, that they always do have risk. You have to be careful. And most of these have not launched yet, but they're worth putting on your radar, right? So for example, in the past, we had products on hidden gems such as Casper. Can we find the next Casper? Can we find the next 100X? So the tiers we have, we have the 1X tier. Not really doing anything. Not, really, not even worth holding, in my opinion. Then you have the 5X tier. You know what? Okay, this is some good money. You, you can get out your initial and, and have some pocket, some spare money. Then we get in the 20X tier, right? This is where you start making some some good money, right? So actually, one of the products we covered in the past, uh, Aimsoft, has officially done a 20X last time I checked. The money is in early stage products. Then we get to the 100X tier. We just landed on the moon in the Lambo. AKA the moon Lambo tier. And then taking pictures with the zoom. And the in a very rare instance, sometimes you may be blessed by the gods and be so lucky to get a thousand X, thousand X tier. This is rare, but it does happen. And you really need these thousand Xs to have life changing generational wealth. But it is possible, whether in the private markets or even in the public markets. So if we go back to the last cycle, Matic did a thousand X plus, right? We have five tokens here. We've got Arkham Intelligence. This was a Binance Launchpad token. We've got CK. We've got D-Bank, Neuro Chain. So I'll go through and give a quick blurb on each one. Uh, now, I'm not done a deep dive on any of these. Just want to bring this to your attention. I'm missing that financial advice. First up, we got Read On, decentralized content layer using AI and blockchain, aiming for a transparent and trustless content distri distribution. So this is their site, right? So we got Read On, discover, distribute, and store value article. So this seems almost like a decentralized social media platform kind of like Steam it, all right? It's a Web2 compatible decentralized platform. Okay, so they've got a mobile app here. That's a Web3 content aggregator. Okay, looks like that's some videos here on the site. Yeah, I mean, social media in general doesn't really do well. So you have to be very, very careful. I say this is going to be hit or miss, but let's see here. So decentralized content. So you got the creators who create, you got DeFi and GameFi, then you distribute. So vote for, rate, and show your favorite content. Looking at the roadmap here, open beta last year, Shan GPT integration, beginning of this year, long tweets and video content. They won an award for Solana Community Hackathon and Arweave Hackathon. Arxion Capital is actually a great investor. They're one of the best in the space. So this is typically actually a good sign. But yeah, I mean, definitely would keep an eye on this. If I had to pick this on a tier list. Yeah, so 20X would be like, um, I think that's reasonable. Now, these are the moon cases because this is going to be a moon case. So the bear case, you've got the base case and you've got the moon case. 20X seems reasonable if the valuation is 25 million by summer 2025. Now let's go on to the next one. Myriadchain.ai, platform for creation and deployment of AI powered decentralized applications, decentralized AI computing and cloud. We know AI is a big narrative because of ChatGPT and Google Bard. This already hits the narrative trend. The ultimate Web3 AI infrastructure, decentralized, scalable, powered by AI. So this is like an AI infrastructure project. Yeah, this one, I'm not so sure. I think based on everything I've seen, it has the AI narrative. I'm not sure what the valuation is. Okay, yeah, so it's actually $24 million FTV. Now, this is going with the limited information I have. Based purely on the fundamentals, if you force me to pick, it was newer chain, right? I'll put this because 100x from 25 million is two and a half billion. Two years by summer 2025. Highly improbable, but I think it's possible for an AI infrastructure project. Honestly, I don't think the code review will be that great. That's why I want to hold off. But just based on the limited info we have, this potentially could do that. Cascadia, Neo Cybernetic Blockchain Platform for Dynamic Incentive Design Hybrid Layer 1 Blockchain. L1 that's Ethereum compatible. That's already a big narrative. The world's first Neo Cybernetic Blockchain. Not sure what that means. Reminds me of Neo, <laughs> the Chinese blockchain. I've seen Fossil, Block Explorer, Validator Explorer, Community. Versus. There's honestly not much here. We do have a code review on this that we'll publish later. It's so-so it's in terms of the code review. I think the EVM space is getting very, very crowded. So if I had to pick for Cascadia. I'll put this in the 10x, 20x tier. Those, so we have two more. We have DBank and Arkham. DBank is a Web3 platform, kind of like MetaMask and Dapper Labs. A very popular one, by the way. And there's speculation that there'll be an airdrop. They do have a huge following. 5.1 million visitors. I mean, that's pretty good. And they've raised a lot of money. So Quintus article says... 
Deep Bank raises 25 million in a round led by Secure China, valuation of 200 million. The only way to make money with this is if you get the airdrop, if there is an airdrop even. So the fact that it's an airdrop play, airdrops are like free money. So I would put this like 100x just by default. Wallets with tokens typically do not do well. So if you're going to trade this airdrop, 100x is basically what I'm looking at. And then I'll do like a 5x if it's just buying on exchanges. Because wallets typically do not do well. But for the airdrop, we'll say 100x. So we got the last one, Arkham. Their slogan is de-anonymizing the blockchain, aka docs to earn, <laughs> as people have memed about it. They're creating incentives, pay people and tokens to dox people on chain. So this, all these on-chain sleuths who want to make money, this is the platform for them. So very, very interesting platform, very scary platform. If you thought you were private and crypto, not this platform, they'll, they'll dox you real quick. All right. So, but when they launched on Binance, they, their two economics were not the greatest, as most stage products. Total supply is a billion. Circulating is 15% of that at 150 million. FTV, half a billion already. Bad to economic. Market cap is under 70 million. It's already down over 40%. So honestly, I don't see this doing too well. I mean, I would only trade this because of, of the bad tokenomics. You have 85% of the tokens that have to hit the market. That's additional inflation and tax that's going to suppress your price. If we go to this tier list, honestly, I would put this like a 5x tier. Yeah, because the tokenomics are not great for the long term. Obviously not financial advice, but the fact that this is already half a billion dollar FTV, 85% supply shock that's going to happen as sell pressure. I'm not too bullish on this, right? So quick recap, 5X tier Arkham, because Arkham is already trading. The money has already been made on Arkham Intelligence. We got We had Cascadia on the 20X tier, read on at 20X, basically social media, blogs, forums, nerd chain, almost purely based on just the whole AI narrative and $25 million FTV. I think AI coins will do well in a bull run. And D-Bank just purely based on an airdrop, right? And an airdrop is 100x. All right, so this is the list. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, we have even more content for you at Tokyo Metrics. Get there using the link down below.